what do I post on social media? How do I post it? Where do I post it? When do I post it? How do I use hashtags? I've been collecting a lot of posting questions from you guys over the past couple months, and I'm gonna answer a lot of them here today. Let's do this. Sarah asked, how do I make my Instagram post go over to Twitter? Great question, Sarah. Now there's really two things you can do here. When you create your Instagram post, there is a choice to send your post right over to Twitter if you've linked your Twitter account. That's the super easy, simple way. However, I like to take it a step further. I use an app called IFTTT, which is if this, then that. And it helps my Twitter account talk to my Instagram account. So when I post on Instagram, it will push my Instagram post over to Twitter, but not just with the caption and the link. It will also post the picture itself. It's super, super cool. It's one of my favorite apps, IF. T, T, T. And the great thing about this is when you push your post over from Instagram to Twitter with the photo, you're gonna find you get so much more engagement and there's still a link on the post to send people back over to my Instagram. Super awesome, right? So try that out, Sarah, next time you wanna push a post over from Instagram to Twitter. Next question, is there a perfect time to post on social media? Now there's not a perfect time to post on social media for everybody, however, there may be an optimal time for you to post for your audience. And we can find this out in our insights and analytics. On a Facebook page, we can hop into our audience insights and we can really see the best time to post for our audience. On Twitter, they're actually rolling it out, the ability to see the best time to post right in our settings. And on Instagram, if you have a business or a creator account, they do give us stats on the best time to post and really what they're telling us is the time that most of our audience is on. Now, I don't obsess about these times. I don't only post at these times. However, I'm aware of what they are. So if I have a video or a post that I really want to get more engagement on and get more eyeballs on, you better believe that I am posting at the best time for my audience on that day. I got this great question from David that I thought would help so many of you guys. David asked, Hey Heidi, I'm cool posting when I book something, but what about in between jobs? That's when I run out of ideas on Instagram. I sometimes don't post for weeks at a time. Oh, such a great question, David, and something so many actors struggle with. And it sounds like from your question that you're making a mistake that I see a lot of actors make on social media. You've been told you have to post about your acting career on social media, so you do just that. But the problem is, you only tell us half the story. You don't tell us about anything outside your actor's life and you're setting yourself up for failure because you see, not even the biggest actors work all the time. So if you're only posting about your actor's life, you're eventually gonna run out of things to post unless you just post about throwback Thursdays and flashback Fridays. So many actors have a problem giving us a backstage pass into their life as a human because you're so busy doing the actor hustle 24 seven that you don't make time to feed your soul, to read books, to take hikes, to go to museums, to read biographies of extraordinary people, or do anything else that interests you outside of your actor's life. Remember, everything you do informs who you are. So David and anyone watching who feels like you're lost in the actor hustle and you've forgotten to feed your soul with something else outside of your actor's life, I have some homework for you. One day a week, I want you to choose a soul day. Your soul day could be any day. It could be Monday, it could be Saturday, but it's a day when you try something new or something you haven't done in a long time to feed your soul, something outside of your acting career. Put it on your calendar and commit to it. This soul day will enrich your life, your acting career, and it will give you more to post on social media. I promise. So what day will it be? Tuesday, Friday, Sunday? Let me know what your soul day will be in the comments below. Now, Cheryl has a great question here. She says, I struggle with what to say and really overthink how I'm saying things in every post. So much so, sometimes I never end up posting at all. Do you have any tips for me to get past the fear and perfectionism every time I post? Well, the first thing you need to realize is that social media is about connection not perfection. And I see so many actors trying to be perfect in every post and every video. And I get it, you think the whole world is watching and staring and judging. However, you can take every class 
ever created on social media, read every article, watch every YouTube video on social media, and you will never achieve perfection. The best tip I can give you for your social media and for your acting is to stop trying to be perfect. Do the work, learn how to use social media for your career, but do not obsess about your posts being perfect. Just post them. My four-year-old loves to say this to me about five times a day. Put it on Instagram. And she's so right. Just go post it on Instagram, go post it on Twitter. Just post it, tweak, and try again but don't obsess about perfection. The more you practice, the better your post will be. Really focus on connection, not perfection. Now let me show you a quick, kind of embarrassing example of this in practice. I posted this post a little while ago on Instagram with a major typo on it, you can see, and it's right in the picture so I couldn't do anything about it. But instead of taking it down or crying or getting embarrassed, I focused on the connection the post made with my audience. And 400 comments later, it is the most inspiring post with comments about why people decided to become an actor. So as you can see here, your posts don't have to be perfect to get engagement or to inspire action with your audience. Elizabeth asked, do you have tips on how to write better captions? Captions can be so tricky for so many people, especially if you're new to Instagram. But you have to remember, Instagram is not a photo sharing platform. It's a storytelling platform. So if you focus on telling stories and really connecting through those stories, you will be more successful with your captions. So instead of always just stating the obvious in the picture, the things that we can actually just see for ourselves, tell us what happened. Tell us a story. Invite us in. What did you learn? What did you feel in that moment? And maybe how did that moment change you? Always ask yourself, what story am I telling? And just make sure your caption reflects that. Now, at first, this may seem weird if you're not used to it, but it just takes practice. And if you need a little help finding your voice and getting your voice onto the page, don't be afraid to read your captions out loud to make sure they really truly sound like you. If you read your captions out loud, you will truly notice when they don't sound like you, or maybe you need to use a contraction, or maybe there are times you can use some slang or phrases that you use all the time in real life in your social media. Your posts, your captions should look like you and sound like you too. So focus on telling stories in your captions to really connect with your audience. And if you need a little help finding your voice, Practice every time reading your captions out loud. How often should I post on social media? Now, how often you post on social media depends on what platforms you're on, how large your audience is, and how engaged they are. And really, how much quality content you can produce every day. So many actors think if I just post more often, I'll get in front of more people and I'll get more followers. But with the algorithm changes, guys, it just doesn't work that way anymore unless you're a huge celebrity or influencer. Posting more often, if it's not quality content, will not help you grow your following. In fact, it actually may be hurting your engagement. It's better for you and your followers for you to post one intentional, thoughtful, awesome post once a week on a platform than 10 mediocre posts that don't add to your story and don't add value to their lives. So today when we're done, I want you to go to your accounts and look at your engagement. And if you're not happy where you're at, I want you to try to post a little less. If you're posting every day, pull back a little bit and work on the quality of your post. Think about the caption tips I gave you about telling a story. Try to make your post a little bit more of a conversation and get your audience engaging before you post everywhere, every day. And there's a great side effect here. When we post a little less, normally our posts improve, the quality improves, our engagement will go up, and then we can up the amount of posts that we do every single day. So hopefully I was able to answer a lot of your questions about posting on social media for your acting career. But you know what? There's a lot more than that to cover, like making an awesome first impression on social media, actually setting up a posting plan, including detailed post ideas, and building relationships on social media and growing a following for your career. But don't worry, I can help you with that too. 
My signature class, the 21 Day Social Rockstar Challenge, is open for registration just a little bit longer. Inside the Social Rockstar Challenge, you'll have access to the exact step-by-step -step strategies that have helped thousands of actors just like you build their audience, make connections with the people who can hire them, and book more meaningful work all through social media. I'll put the link in the description below, but don't delay because registration is ending soon and space is limited. I cannot wait to see you put some of these posting tips into practice today, and I can't wait to see you in the 21 Day Social Rockstar Challenge. I'll see you on social.